Hi, I'm uh, Arvind Ten, and this is my uh, prototype uh, automatic power factor correction using the Taho 2 board and .NET Micro Framework. The hardware of our prototype consists of the Taho 2 board, which is the main controller for the entire system. The other components of the prototype are a power measurement sensor board, a relay controller, and capacitor banks. The power measurement sensor is based on the ADE7753 chip from analog devices. The relay controller is custom designed to activate and deactivate capacitors based on the input from the Taho 2. The capacitor bank consists of four capacitors which provide necessary compensation. The software components consist of the graphical user interface which is based on the touchscreen display interfaces to the sensor and controller and the power factor controller which reads data from the sensor and sends appropriate commands to the controller to activate and deactivate appropriate capacitors. To simulate a home environment we use a variable power supply which is configured at 220 volts RMS. Generally, household loads or industrial loads can be modeled as inductive loads, which are a combination of inductors and resistors. Thus, our load, we are using a resistor bank and an inductor bank, which are connected in series. This shows the overall system. Now we show the boot up process of our prototype. The main screen shows a graph which displays the changes of power factor in real time. Using the menu button, different features of our prototype can be accessed. The features include energy measurement, voltage and current measurement, power measurement, as well as the power factor controller configurations. The voltage current window displays the voltage, current and frequency in real time. The power window displays the active, apparent and reactive powers. Initially, we connected a purely resistive load and this screen shows you the readings of uh, that load. Now we add an inductive load to make the system more realistic. The inductor and the resistor are connected in series. As can be seen from the graph, the power factor is below 1 which indicates inefficiencies in the system. The actual power values can be seen in this screen. In this setup, the reactive power far exceeds the active power. We now go to the power factor controller window and enable the power factor controller. The power factor controller will monitor the powers and automatically compensate it with the appropriate amount of capacitors.
as you can see from the graph the power factor has improved this is due to the fact that the power factor controller has automatically switched on a capacitor compared to the previous values of the reactive power the current value is considerably reduced when we take a look inside the device we can see that the first relay has been activated by the controller the power factor controller window displays the number of capacitors which are currently turned on The current reactive power is at 21 VAR. We now increase the reactive power by changing the inductive load. Now the reactive power is increased to 43 VAR. The power factor controller will monitor this change and turn on an additional capacitor to compensate for the reactive power. Now the power factor controller window shows that two capacitors have been turned on. In our prototype, we use capacitors which have equal ratings. This causes the changes to be in equal steps within a given tolerance level. Now we reduce the inductive load. The power factor controller will monitor the change and automatically deactivate capacitors so that the power factor is maintained within the designated threshold. Now the power factor controller window shows that only one capacitor is currently turned on. Our current prototype is designed for a single phase system. However, this can be easily scaled up to a three phase system. Power supply to homes are generally single phase. By scaling the system to a three phase system it allows us to target a much wider and an important market industries use of heavy machinery in industry degrades the power factor thus power factor correction plays a vital role in energy cost reduction for companies our device can be easily integrated into their plants and help them reduce their energy costs our device can also be used as a power quality monitoring device or a next generation smart metering technology used by power companies. Compared to other products available in the market, our solution is more user friendly, reliable and more importantly less costly.